Hello everyone and welcome to Sun Up. I'm Lyndall Stout. The sound of the rain falling is definitely music to our ears across Oklahoma, knowing that it will make a difference in wheat fields across the state. Gary McManus and Wesley will tell us how much of an impact the rain is having a little bit later in the Mesonet report. But first, we're talking about vitamin A deficiency in cattle with Dr. Dave Lawman. The rain is going to help a lot because it's going to green up the forage. And, you know, obviously, we hope we grow a substantial amount of forage for grazing. Uh, and green forage supplies carotene, which is the precursor to vitamin A. You know, we've, we've been in a drought in western part of Oklahoma really since about September of 2021. Sure, we had some periods of rainfall last spring, a year ago, but then it turned off dry immediately. And any time forage gets mature and a drought comes along, the carotene concentration in forage declines dramatically. So we've had long periods of time in western Oklahoma where cattle would have been consuming forage that was likely low in carotene and therefore low in, or they should have been low in terms of their requirement of active vitamin A. Tell us about the case study that you and the team have done the past few weeks on OSU's herds. Yeah, so s some of the veterinarians were telling us that uh, you know, they were seeing, they were testing cattle for vitamin A in the serum, and they were finding cows, a lot of cattle that were deficient. So we decided to test our, uh, one of our cow herds, the fall calving herd, and turns out, you know, the adequate serum concentration of vitamin A is, is presumed to be about 0 0.3 parts per million. Our cows tested on average 0 0.12. So, you know, nearly a third of what they needed to have, you know, for their, for their different biological functions. And so we, soon after that, we got those cows in and we gave them a vitamin A injection. Um, <clears throat> tested them about two weeks later. Uh, and at, at, during that time period in the interim, we also increased the vitamin A uh, supplement in the feed that they were consuming. If a vitamin A deficiency lingers, there can be really some potential serious problems, right? There could be, and you know, what you would expect, and some of the veterinarians are indicating they've seen, is early births, stillborns, uh, weak calves, and retained placenta. Is testing the only way you can really know if there is a deficiency? I mean, it's certainly the best way. Sure, you, you might observe some of these problems, the stillborns and earlyborn calves and weak calves and things like that. So say you've tested and you decide to replenish the vitamin A in one way or another, how, how quickly does the, the cow start to turn around and see the benefits? We saw it relatively quickly in this herd. You know, we went from 0.12 to 0.29 in quite a few cows that we tested on average uh, in, in a period of about three weeks. But Lindell, to, to make a more rapid recovery, we used an injectable product as well as increase the amount of vitamin A in their feed supplement. Uh, we injected, uh, it was a 10 milliliter uh, dose and we injected about 1 million international units of vitamin A. That sounds like a lot, but a, cow, a lactating cow requires about 50,000 international units of vitamin A per day. And the other way, of course, is when Mother Nature cooperates. And as we see, it's, it's raining this week, which is certainly welcome. Talk about how that will kind of help obviously green up the pastures and, and get things going again. Yeah, absolutely. Hopefully this will this will solve the problem uh, because, you know, the lush green forage is going to have loads of carotene and those cows have the capability to convert that carotene to active vitamin A. So it should improve things a lot. And you and the team have a fact sheet too for folks yeah. who want to read more in depth. We do, and it's you know should be available there at sunup.okstate.edu. All right, we'll check it out. Dave, thanks a lot. We'll talk to you again soon.